हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट दयानंद सागर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डी एस सी ई विच इज एन ऑटोनॉमस इंस्टीट्यूट एफिलियटेड टू बी टी यू सो दिस आर द डिफरेंट कोर्स कोड्स थ्रू डिफरेंट एडमिशन प्रोसेस सो यू कैन सी द कोड फॉर के सेट विच इज ई जीरो जीरो सेवन एंड द कॉमेट के ई जीरो फोर जीरो एंड फॉर पी जी सी टी एम बी ए बी वन फाइव एट एंड फॉर द एम टेक कोर्स टी Eight two two. So any of these students may be watching this. Now coming to the fee structure. So first the fee structure for twenty twenty four twenty five for the K set student. So for the K set student, the fees is approximately one point two seven lakh rupees per year, and this is as per the K E fees policy. So one point two seven lakh rupees per year. And the second is about the Comet K student. So Comet K student, the fees is a Is around two lakh eighty one thousand four seventy seven. But this is the fees you already paid at Comed K. But once you reach the college, you will have to pay extra fees, and the extra fees in the college in the college is around Skill Lab fees twenty thousand rupees, VTU fees ten thousand six hundred rupees, and then there is. Uh, Uh, some more fees which is applicable for non karnataka students so basically three type of students in comed k all karnataka students in comed k will pay 30610 extra all students who are from outside of karnataka but are taking admission through comed k they will have to pay 32110 extra every year so this is the fees which you need to pay extra every year and the third one is students who are coming from outside india and ri students they will have to pay 42000 rupees extra every year now talking about the documents which are required during the admission process so first is the, for the comed k students it will be like original allotment letter by comed k authority and for the kset student it will be the same kset allotment letter original 10th and 12th card mark sheet right that is also required by the uh, comed k as well as the k set students transfer certificate is required by the karnataka students who are taking transfer from within state but if you are non karnataka st student right then you need to provide the migration certificate certificate or the study certificate from your state if the seat is claimed under the karnataka uh, kkr student that they so karnataka students for comed k should pay, uh, provide the kkr certificates then the parents pan card aadhar card soft copy and students passport size uh, you know color photo their signature the aadhar card soft copy also needs to be brought by the students and bring three set of copies of all the documents it's it's are mentioned here and if any candidate is claiming the reservation benefit then they should also bring the income certificate and the caste certificate any of the caste category certificate which you are claiming they should bring this is applicable only for the k set students now then the original document should be scanned in color format and that should be also available in jpg within 1 mb so apart from the physical document you should also bring the soft copy which is mentioned here and it's also mentioned that you should have a soft copy in the mobile or in the pen drive to be uploaded in the student login so once you get the student login all those documents should be uploaded in the student login so you should have a soft copy available avoid scanning in mobile or taking photos in mobile and uploading it right so passport size color photograph soft soft copy within 500 kb for all the students who are coming from outside india they should have a copy of passport and visa right for staying in india so that is the minimum required now moving further this is about the hostel accommodation right so there are many hostels for men's like sardar patel or a uh, house hostel and then residences at uh, dsi those are for men for women also they have many hostels like sharda girls hostel nelson mandela girls hostel nri girls hostel ashirwada girls hostels and then sanjeevi thana girls hostel and vivek and they have nest girls hostel facilities as well 
so what they provide is basically tv uh, in the hostels indoor games and uh, telephone washing machines uh, hot water facilities available outdoor games are also available in the house uh, house for the hostel students and the nutritionists have food like vegetarian non veg both the system are available for mess and then fully furnished spacious rooms are provided so let me show the some other pictures of the room so you can see the gym equipments you can see the hostel room pictures and the tables and the extra facilities which are provided like tennis table right and then you can see washing machine open area and our study table and then some of the washroom and the study pictures right so now coming about the fee structure right which is there for the last year this is not the current year but this is last year so you can expect 10% increase so let's see the fees hostel rent and the establishment fees which is fixed and non refundable every year you have to be 80000 rupees as the hostel rent so after this 80000 year rupees every year you also need to pay mess food fees separately so that is around 66000 so if you add 80 plus 60 1.46 lakhs lakhs so every year 1.46 lakhs is the fees and this is last year fees so this year you can expect it to be around 1.6 lakh rupees per year including hostel and mess food then there will be also one time deposit of 5000 rupees but this will be only one time at the start of the first year and this is refundable now talking about the contact details if you want to take the hostel and all so indian boy hostel number is ending with 01 nri boys hostel the number is ending with 45 and the last one is the girls hostel is also available as i mentioned number ending with 27 so that's all the official update from dscc thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in karnataka take care and bye